All right, everybody got me? Uh, first of all, I want to uh, congratulate Coach Latrell and, and, uh, and his team. Um, very well coached, well executed. Um, did a great job tonight and um, knew this was his best football team that he's had in his three years here. And they came in and definitely playing, uh, playing very well. So I'm going to give them congratulations. Um, disappointed. We took a punch today. And, and especially in the first half, and and um, you know to get our to get our mindset to change and uh, to rally back when things go bad, we, we've we've got to continue to work on that, and um, that's something that's uh, um, disappointing. And, and I think they scored 17 points and 16 plays in the first half, and and um, and just uh, and stunned us right there. Um, and we never really could rally back. We got it within 10, and. Um, and uh, but uh, but but disappointed. Uh, there's, there's a locker room full of young men that are disappointed and coaches that are disappointed. Um, as I said before, and I'll say again, they do care. Um, they continue to fight and they will fight. And uh, we got to go back and look in the mirror. And uh, it starts with us, and starts with me, and starts with every coach and every player. And um, we we'll start right off with looking back in the mirror. So with that, I'll open up for questions. Raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Hey, Chad, can you discuss the quarterback situation, Ty Story not playing, and just what you saw from all the guys today? Yeah, through, through practice. You know, we went through practice this week and, and, and um, was going to try to stay with one guy. That was the message that, that, that I was trying to get. You know, I was trying to get to the point of staying with one guy as long as we could and, and with hopes to give um, the entire game to Cole. Cole had the better week of practice, and, and uh, so we made the, the, the decision to go with Cole. Uh, made the decision to, to stay with Cole in the second half um, because I wanted to get into the, 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 the see if he could not rally us back. We, 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 you know, we got in there at halftime, had some good adjustments and, and talked and, and um, let him know that, hey, look, we're going right back with you. Um, and the game situation and circumstances and with, with the interception and them going down and scoring, um, you know, I just I didn't, I didn't want to put uh, – I, I wanted to go with Connor Nolan. Um, I did not want to put Ty in that situation with being down that far. Um, and um, that's, that was my decision to go with Connor. Yeah, so, so Ty, Ty, Ty was healthy. It wasn't any kind of injury thing. That's correct. And just, a, I guess, some personnel things. We, we didn't see Chevin. Was, what was the deal with him? And I saw Devois, and it looked like Gary Cross got hurt again. And, and how did you think that the true freshman played? Obviously, you know, tough. Tough situation to be thrown into. I no, I think it was a way. tough situation for everybody out there with it. And I know we played a lot of freshmen out there today as well. Um, Chevin Calloway was uh, um, was not here with us for personal reasons. Um, Devois uh, got the the breath knocked out of him over on the sidelines, and and uh, Gary Cross, I believe it was Gary that was uh, with the ankle. So Chevin, it's not, not a suspension. No. Personal. Coach, what was the game plan going into the game, and what were you trying to do against the UNT defense? Well, we felt like that we could run a lot of 12 personnel and um, thought we could run the football. I uh, was disappointed that we were not able to, to sustain and move any double teams, um, especially the way that we moved, ran the ball the week before. Uh, so the game plan was to come in and, and use a lot of two tight end sets um, and take some play action passes, especially in early downs. Coach, what happened? What did you tell your punt coverage team on their what looked like was going to be a fair catch, and then it wasn't a fair catch, and yeah. they returned it for a touchdown? Well, you, you got to play all the way through. You got to play through the whistle. Now, that, that was my message. You got to play through the whistle. And, um, you know, so many guys are getting down the field, and you got to have your eyes up. You got to look for the fair catch call. Um, you know, and, and one of the guys says, you know, hey, look, coach, I thought he put his hand up in his face. and um, But a, a true fair catch signal was not given, and it was evident on that. And, you know, he stopped, he delayed, and, and um, we were right there in position. But you got to play through the whistle. And um, so that was my message to those guys. Putting in those two freshman quarterbacks at the end got them some experience. How do you strike that balance between wanting to focus on this season and then yet preparing for the future as well? Well, I think it you know, goes back to, to what we said earlier. You, you, you got to go back and look in the mirror. And uh, we'll go back in and reevaluate things tomorrow and, and move forward. I wanted to get those the freshmen in and wanted to get them some reps, especially given the circumstance of the game and, and didn't want it to be. Uh, uh, I wanted to see how those guys would respond. Um, I thought they did a good job. But we'll go back in and, and uh, reevaluate it and, and see what the direction is from there. Coach, after these first three games, 
is this a bigger rebuild than you first thought it was? Well, I think that, you know, you, when you look at it, you, you look at it as, as how this football team has is, is just got to improve every day. And regardless if, you know, um, you know, no one in that locker room wants to hear the word rebuild, especially if you're a senior that's invested time in this program. Um, what you do want to hear the fact that you want to continue to get better and try to improve and find ways to improve and, and whatever that means uh, as far as getting players on that field that are, gonna, that are going to uh, gonna go make plays. And, um, you know, Scooter Harris, I think he had 12 tackles tonight. And, I mean, there's, there's some guys that are playing exceptionally hard. We've just got to continue to develop and bring guys along. And, and again, as I said, you've got to go back and look in the mirror. A tough day for Cole with interceptions. How did you think he played? What happened? What did you see on his interceptions? And just how did you think the, the, the freshman QBs played? Well, I, I thought that I thought that both of those guys, given the circumstances that they were in, um, uh, the pressure that that they both had on them, um, you know, you know, giving up sacks with those two guys right there, the the young guys in there. I mean, you know, that, that's tough to put a freshman in that situation. Um, you know, I, I thought that they responded uh, as I knew they would. Um, you know, we get a, a great run by John Stephen, and, and we get a holding call. Um, we get another, you know, same thing with Connor. You, you, as always, once you get something, two steps forward, you just take a step back. Um, I thought Cole was, was uh, obviously, we turned the football over entirely too much. I think that's the message that, um, um, you know, it's, it's, it's our job to protect football. We talk about it all the time. And uh, we turned the football over entirely too much. I thought there were some throws that we made that were good. And um, I thought we had some things that we could have done better. Yeah, Chad, it looked like there was a little maybe miscommunication between Cole and the receivers on a number of plays. What did you see, and, and particularly on the pick plays, what Cole was looking at, what he told you, what he was seeing? Well, I think there was, there was several miscommunications out there with it. And... Um, um, there was, there was again, as we, as, as I said earlier, we've got to go back and look in the mirror, and um, we've got to go back and be able to run our base offense effectively. Speak on Mike Woods. He had a pretty good game. Can you just speak on his play and what you thought about him? You know, Mike, just being a, a freshman, has been here since January, and very talented young man. That's uh, um, going to provide. A, you know, he's going to have a great career. Uh, he's just a young kid. That's uh, that's learning, and um, but uh, you know we got to we got to all all be on the same page, and you know it's going to take more than just one wide receiver. It's going to take all these guys to keep pushing and getting better. Coach, offensive line. I know you got Colton in. Just what do you see up front? And it looked like they they put nine in the box to start the game and forced you out of what you wanted to do. Yeah, I, I think that was that was their intent. Was they were going to see if we can throw the football. Um, and then they were going to come up and press our receivers and, and see if we could get by them. Um, and so, you know, I thought it was great to get Colton back, you know, as I shared earlier, to be able to have, um, you know, getting some depth back in the offensive line. But, again, we got to continue to get – we got we to gotta get that group better, as, as every group needs to get better. Hey, Chad, I know it's just three games in, but you're one and two going into a really tough SEC stretch. How tough a, a, a situation do you think you guys are in looking at the rest of the season? And and um, who, who starts a do you have any idea who starts a quarterback? And are you worried about Cole? I mean, you probably didn't hear, but he was he was getting booed pretty bad. Um, just how, how do you think Cole Cole handles will handle that? And yeah, who's who might start next week? Well, I, I think when you when you look at Cole, I mean, um, as, as I shared with 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 all of them, but you know Cole in particular. I mean, the guy's a competitor. Uh, he wants to do right and wants to do good, and and uh, uh, he was right there encouraging those those guys um, all along, and uh, even when he came out. So, um, you know, moving in, moving into conference play next week, uh, you know, your 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 uh, your records. You know, zero zero, but it's all about us. And and you know, without without looking at the next opponent, we got to look at the Arkansas Razorbacks and and focus on us and and, and go back and look. Like I said, look in the mirror. Do you have an idea who you might start? I don't. Not. Start a I would, but I do not know who I'm going to start. Coach, where's where's Dre and how close was he to to getting on the field this week? Well, we we thought we were going to get him back Wednesday, and it just it just wasn't um, um, in a. We just didn't feel like it was worth it coming back and not being fully healthy. So we anticipate him being back this week. Were you surprised by the lack of production from Cornelius and Nance on the outside? Well, I don't think it's so much. Uh, um, I think there were several times we had them open. Where there were there were several calls that we had that the ball didn't get to them. 
um, you know, we've got to get the ball out and we've got to get the ball, um, you know, in space and guys making plays. I think Jared made a couple plays today. But, um, you know, we've got to do a good job of moving the ball around and spreading it around. I know you guys as a coaching staff talked up Malik Williams a lot uh, in the spring and summer. So yeah, do, do, you, do you think he's going to get some more carries going forward after a uh, pretty good fourth quarter there? Well, you know, obviously it was good to see Malik and, um, you know, get the run in and, and uh, do some great things. He's, he's a hard worker and he's, he's a, a great young man. That, um, but, uh, you know, we've got, we've got a, a, a group of running backs that will continue to compete, and, and, and he's one of them. I'm wondering, what's your, your message to the team tonight? What would you say? Yeah, I, 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 that, that, that's a great question. My message is that I love those guys. And um, there's nobody in that locker room that hurts any more uh, for those, those young men than, than, than me and these coaches and the hard work that these guys have put in and um, that the, the, the love and the care that we have for them in going away, um, that uh, we're going we're, we're gonna to go back and look in the mirror and, and, and we're going to get better. And it's going to be everybody in that room that's going to get better. And, it, it, and it's not a care. It's not a care problem. Um, because they, they, they're going to care and we're care and, and uh, we're going to get this, we're going to get the, um, get these guys that, that, that they've worked extremely hard to get to, uh, to where they are and especially our seniors. And this isn't, um, um, you know, my message is, that, hey, look, it's, it's going to start right here with, with me and all of us and to go back and self reflect and go back to basics. Any more questions? Coach Morris? Oh, yeah. Mike Woods had to come out of the game. What's his status? It was an ankle, but I, 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 the way I understand when before I walked in was that he was he was uh, going to be okay. We'll, we'll reevaluate that. Did, did you say what Gary's deal was? Gary I thought it was a, a um, an ankle as well. Yeah. Thanks, coach.